Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you properly indent your code. So here uh, we have a Carol program that does something special and what happens is Carol starts uh, in the bottom left corner of the world facing east and moves across the first street, moves across the first row and every time Carol hits a stack of tennis balls he picks all them up and then does a dance. He spins, he turns left uh, four times. So I'll run this program to show you what it does. So Carol's picking up the balls, then spins around. So now if we take a look at the code on the left, uh, this code solves that problem. However, if you look at it, it's it's hard to read, it's hard to understand, and that's because we're not properly indenting the code. So one reason we indent the code is to show the structure, show how the different uh, commands relate to each other. So the first thing is that we have our start function, and these, um, it's hard to even match up our, our braces because of the indenting, but we have our start function. Um, and these are the braces for the start function. And the rule is that all of the code inside a function should be indented uh, indented in that function. So I'll uh, indent everything. I'll just use a little shortcut. So now we can see that all of this code is inside this function. And the same rule applies to the while loop. So this, this is the bracket that matches up with the start and end of this first while loop. And so all the code that's in the while loop should be indented. Okay? And this also applies to if statements. An if statement, the code uh, goes from the opening brace to the closing brace. So all the code in the if statement should be indented. And then this applies again for the while loop inside the if statement and the for loop. So now this code is starting to get a little more structure. And similarly, I'm going to properly indent down here. So all the code inside the if statement gets indented as for the code inside the while loop and inside the for loop. So this now is how the code should be indented. Um, it's not great yet. We actually would want to decompose the code a little bit better. Um, for example, one thing I might do is write a function uh, called dance, and that will be the code that sort of spins Carol around four times. And I'll properly indent this code. And now, where I want to do that, I will just call dance. I'll call that up here as well. So if we reset and run this, we see it does the same thing. But this code is, is much uh, clearer. The structure is much clearer.